everyone. Thanks so much for having me here today. My name is Amy Labar, a research engineer at NREL. Um, I work on the CompSoc project and happy to be here to be uh, giving an update on both ResDoc and CompSoc. So for those who are not familiar or uh, could use a refresher, um, ResDoc and CompSoc are building stock energy modeling tools with the goal of putting data in the hands of decision makers. I don't think I need to tell this group why building energy modeling is important or how building stock energy modeling can assist with efforts like electrification planning, policy and rate design, emissions analysis, integrated resource planning, and decarbonization analysis. Specifically, ResDoc and ComStock are DOE-funded, NREL-developed uh, stock modeling tools um, of the U.S. building stock built on Energy Plus and Open Studio. Between the two, there are about 900,000 individual building energy models um, to represent the diversity of the stock. So these are representative models, um, not intended to model each individual building, but within the data set, you will be able to find a model that is similar to a building in real life, and the proportion of, um, of that model is uh, within the data set matches the proportion of that type of building in real life. Um, we also validate these models against data sets like REX, CBEX, EIA, um, and uh, the models have also undergone uh, calibration as part of the end use load profiles project. All right, so this is a summary of what our teams have been up to over the last year and a half to two years. Uh, one of the big additions to ResDoc is the inclusion of equity correlations, which really broadens the, the applications um, and types of analyses that can be done using that tool, which is great. On the Comstock side, uh, we've done a, a lot of um, baseline improvements to things like kitchen equipment, HVAC, and fuel type distributions, as well as interior lighting and windows. A big effort for both teams has been this end use saving shapes project, which I'll uh, talk a bit about now. So end use saving shapes is a study um, investigating the impacts of energy efficiency and electrification measures on the baseline stock models. Um, we are releasing new upgrade measures and packages every six months. You can see a list of what we have available for each of the models um, today. Um, and like the baseline models, these results are released as time series and annual energy consumption um, results, as well as building stock characteristics that can be investigated at various geographic levels um, from national census division all the way down to sub-county level, depending on your analysis needs. All right, so this is where we're headed over the next year, year and a half. Um, Red stock, we're gonna be adding Alaska and Hawaii to the models. They'll also be adding some EV capability as well. Um, as They will be improving heat pump modeling as well as um, backup heat sizing and adding electrical panel and service sizing and resizing. Uh, Comstock will be adding thermal bridging, revising occupancy and ventilation assumptions, adding utility bill impacts, which we're really excited about. Um, as well as developing a gap model and then continuing to release upgrade measures as part of end use saving shapes. So there are a few ways to get started with these models. If, if you're not familiar, um, highly recommend you check out our websites, which are highlighted in, in the blue box there. Um, and then we also have our emails listed if you have any questions or, or feedback for us. Um, we're always interested to, to chat and connect. Um, the end use load profiles and saving shapes Webinar recordings are available online and are a great resource for understanding more about the models and what um, data is available. Also, highly recommend checking out um, this new Comstock documentation website, which you can get to from comstock.nrel.gov, which has a whole host of user resources um, to make it easier to, to do analysis with the tool. Um, so the data sets are the most straightforward way to interact with the models, um, but the ResDoc and ComStock workflows are both public on GitHub, and that includes the upgrade measures um, as part of the end use saving shape. So those are open studio measures um, available on the ComStock repo. Uh, and then lastly here we have a um, ResDoc ComStock technical assistance team that we're creating whose sole purpose will be to assist utilities, consultants, um, federal, state, local entities in using these tools to implement the clean energy transition. 
Um, and then lastly here, a bit of a call to action. Um, these are ongoing projects. Models are always being um, improved. So please reach out to us if you have any ideas for model developments that um, will help you with your analysis that you're doing. Um, if you catch a bug, please let us know so we can fix that. Um, if you have any data to share to improve our inputs, we would love to see that as well. Um, and then finally, there's always the opportunity to connect um, at a regular ResDoc or Comstock team meeting, present on what work you're doing, and um, open the conversation for more analysis. Um, and with that, thank you so much for your time, and please connect with me afterwards if you have questions. Thank <laughs> you.